Recently, I had a customer who needed to upload videos to his course in a way that users won't be able to download them or even screen record them. And therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you a secure video hosting solution designed to protect your video content from piracy and unauthorized access. Setting this up is really easy and it's going to take only a couple of minutes. So let's dive in. Now the video hosting I'm going to use in this video is called Video Cipher, the one you see on the screen right now. It allows you to prevent illegal downloads with DRM, watermark and piracy tracker. You can add dynamic watermarking and it has a piracy and hacker identification in the analytics dashboard. That is, you can get detailed insights into viewer engagement, video performance and some suspicious activities. Since it has a WordPress plugin, it's easy to set up. Now I'm going to skip the signing up part because you can do it with a couple of clicks by yourself. The important info is that you have a free 30 day trial option. Just register, log in and after that you will be redirected to your dashboard. So let's take a look at the dashboard. First, take a look at the sidebar over here. It has videos. This part contains all your uploaded videos. And down below here you can see all the tutorials, which for the beginner is a really nifty feature. Up here you can upload your videos, you can import your videos and create folders. For example, let's create a folder called WooCommerce videos. Let's create it. It's here and I can upload videos directly to this folder. Next one is live streams and as the name says, it allows you to create live streams. I'm not going to do that in this video because I'm not a live streamer, but it's important for you to know that you can do it here. Pay attention though that live streaming solution does not have DRM or encryption or watermark feature. Under the security and configuration, you can set up whether to match domains and all subdomains. Maybe you don't want the videos to be published on other domains. So you can set whether it's match domain exactly, match domain and all its subdomains or regex on full URL. You can override all other domain restrictions for API and video and you can block users from selected countries or only allow users from selected countries just at the countries or IP addresses here. Here you can add your API keys that are needed for connecting your WordPress site with a video cipher. Later I'm going to show you how to do that. You can add users here. If you're a developer then you can add webhooks. If you're not a developer and don't know what the webhook is, then you can skip this part. You can configure fair play for iOS devices here. And here's the explanation that is video cipher provides Google widewind DRM encryption for desktop and Android as a default integration. But on iOS devices, video uses proprietary encryption, which is secure from downloaders, but is not as secure as DRM. Therefore, on macOS Safari, the player will give you a message to watch on the Google Chrome browser. So to fix these limitations, you can apply for a Fair Play certificate from Apple. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but it's fairly simple. You need to get your certificate, click on Configure Fair Play, choose your certificate files and done. If you need any help, then Video Cipher support team will surely help you out with this. Under the advanced, you can enable downloads for your videos if needed. And under the custom player, you can customize your player. Later, I'm going to come back to this part also. Next is your account and payment info, support and analytics. You can see your bandwidth usage, video usage, view analytics, per video views, watch time tracking, user device analytics, and you can also see the blocked playback. And once again, iOS DRM configuration that I covered a minute ago, the same goes with a custom player. Here you can change your account details. Now, in order to upload the video, there are three options. First, you can just drag and drop it here. Second, click on the upload button and choose the video. Or third option, click on the import button and you can import from Dropbox, Google Drive, from specific URL, Vimeo, S3 or FTP. This time I'm gonna just drag and drop one video here. It's gonna upload. The video is about Fluent Forms. It says your video have been uploaded. I'm gonna close it. And now it says it's processing, that is, it's encrypting the video for the web. 
if this is done then there will be a tag ready like this video has here and also video cipher will send you a confirmation email when your video is ready before i proceed with the video don't forget to smash that like button down below here it means a lot to me and it also helps my channel so i would appreciate your help now let's connect your site with your video cipher that is let's go to the plugins add new plugin let's search for video cipher this one here install let's activate now and after that you'll see this menu here let's open it up and now we need a api secret key for that i'm gonna go back to the video cipher dashboard i'm gonna go to security and configuration api keys i'm gonna click on this button add api key i'm gonna copy this secret key paste it here save changes and after that you'll see some other options video default width height playback speed you can customize it player version player id and some watermark information i'm gonna leave it as it is but there is one thing i usually do that is under the advanced option i'm gonna deselect this one here pay attention that currently the menu video cipher is displayed as a separate menu but after changing it it is displayed under the settings i like this one more and basically that's it now i'm gonna go to the videos as you see the video i uploaded is ready i'm gonna click on edit button rename it as fluent forms let's delete the extension i can upload a new poster whatever it is for example this one here i can upload subtitles choose a language and upload it i can swap video ids that is it allows us to swap video id of two videos such that embed code on your website or your database it doesn't have to be updated when the new version of the video is released just choose the video you need to swap the id with and done under the files you'll see all the video files that are created after uploading it as you see there are a bunch of different versions and all those are displayed here under the security settings once again you can whitelist your urls or subdomains and next you can add chapters for example let's add a chapter intro next is settings on one minute mark styles and so on let's save chapters and if i play the video you'll see all the chapters are here next one is custom player this one here let's open it up add a custom player give it the title for example test player or whatever it is and now you can activate or deactivate buttons customize speed control whether to display captions or progress bar whether to enable local auto resume some other controls here change color for example let's make it this one here enable airplay and now as you see when i hover here that has changed the color okay let's save it and now pay attention that the, this one here is a player id if i copy it and go to the video cipher settings you'll see there is a player id if i paste the id here then all the videos that are displayed on this site will use this player skin okay now i'm gonna go and demonstrate you something as i showed you before if i upload the video without the video hosting then anyone can download the video as you see i have a browser extension that allows me to download the video i already did it and this is the video the one i uploaded on this site but let's edit this one let's delete the uploaded video and i'm gonna add a short code i'm gonna grab the short code for this video let's click on the embed button choose wordpress but you can use it for any other site here custom backend for php node ruby and whatever it is you can use it as an iframe you can use it for android ios apps moodle and some other stuff this time i'm gonna use wordpress i'm gonna copy the shortcode paste it here save it open up the site and here's the video now pay attention that since i'm using the screen recorder you are not able to see anything but the subtitles here and this is because of the encryption the video cipher uses for you this means also that your customers can't record your videos 
Pay attention that though Video Cipher gives the disclaimer that screen capture cannot be protected in 100% cases of browsers, in some cases it can prevent it, like the current case I showed, but in some cases it cannot be protected. Screen capture protection is 100% possible only in mobile apps and Safari browsers, but nevertheless Video Cipher does a good job. And now if I click on this button, it displays that there are two videos and you may think, okay, you are allowed to download it, but if I save it and open it up, then you'll see nothing is displayed. If I download the other one and open it up, then you'll see this is a video, seven minutes long, but no audio, no image, just a random video, which is encrypted and there is no use for the downloader for it. Video Cypher does an amazing job with the encryption here. Now, one more thing before I wrap up. If you want to customize your shortcode, then open up this part here. There are some parameters you can use. I'm going to skip the watermark part, but if you click on this link here, there is a documentation how you can add dynamic watermark demos on your site. The ones you see here, as you see, IP address, email address, and some other text. If you need to do that, then follow this documentation and you're good to go. Now, as you saw, securing your videos and preventing illegal downloads is uh, fairly easy with a video cipher. Now you may wonder how much does it cost? Let's take a look at the pricing for the video hosting. And you'll see that currently these are the prices. I'm using the light plan that is $45 per year. Probably you have to figure out how much videos you're going to upload and how much bandwidth do you need per month. And based on this, you can choose your plan. If you scroll down, then you'll see all the features every plan has. There is also a 30 days free trial you can use. Just sign up and you're good to go. Now, before you go, you may want to take a look at the video that is on the screen right now. In it, I'm going to show you another awesome tool that is called InstaWP which allows you to test all WordPress plugins and themes for free. So be sure to take a look at this video next. In the meantime, take care.